And then the other question I will ask you is what is the tension in the string? You can look at either block A or block B. In a case like this, it is much easier to look at block A because the net force in the x-axis on block A is just the tension. So, and remember that to find the tension, you only look at a single block, not the entire system. So now, if you look at just block A, it has three external forces, two of which that I've drawn in green are balanced. That's the unbalanced force acting on block A. So the net force acting on block A, the unbalanced force on block A is the tension. Well, the net force on block A is the mass of block A, not the system, I'm just looking at block A, times its acceleration. Block A has a mass of five kilograms times an acceleration of 2.8 meters per second squared 5 times 2.8 is 14 newtons. And I just said that the net force acting on block A is due solely to the friction, solely to the tension. If, uh, again, if there were friction, I would have subtracted out the friction. And that would have been subtracted right here. And then that net force would be tension minus friction. But there isn't any, because I said it's frictionless. So what's the tension equal to? 14. Net force is 14. The net force is the tension. Absolutely beautiful. If you decided to look at block B, that's more difficult. But you can do it. I don't recommend it, but you can do it. The net force acting on block B is the mass of block B times its acceleration, which is, what did I say, 2 kilograms times an acceleration of 2.8, which is what, 5.6 newtons, I think? And what is the net force acting on block B? Well, you have, because that's positive, you have to do the larger force minus the smaller force. Well, how do you know which one's larger? Well, which way does it accelerate? You know in this kind of situation that block B is going to accelerate downwards. You just know that because it's not going to go upwards when you let go of this. So if it accelerates downwards, it's always going to accelerate in the direction of the net force. So that means the downward force must be bigger than the upward force. That's why it accelerates downwards. So the net force acting on block B is the weight of B less the tension. Again, if you get those backwards, you're going to get the wrong answer. Not only the wrong sign, but the wrong answer, the wrong number. So 5.6 equals 19.6 minus T. So I add T to the other side, subtract 5.6 to that side, and I get that T equals 14 newtons. It has to agree with the previous answer because they're the same. Don't calculate this twice unless you really want to. Just pick one and, and do it. I prefer this one because it's easier.